Hey, welcome guys. This is your instructor Rahul Shetty from rahulshettyacademy.com. So, in this video, let us try to understand what is abstraction, what are abstract classes, methods, and where do we use these in real time when we are working with Java projects. Okay? So, first, what is abstraction? So, it is a process of hiding the implementation details from the user. In simple words, you will have the information on what the object does instead of how it does. Okay. Now you might get a question, right? I understood the definition, but where exactly we use this concept in real life? Okay. So if you just Google with what is abstraction, you get the definition like this, but that will not help you to correlate with real life Java examples. So I would now first go and explain one real time scenario. From this scenario, I will let you know where exactly abstract classes comes into picture. And then we will read this definition one more time. And this time you can correlate and understand the concept. Okay. So let's start with a dummy mind. So let's assume that there is a class. Okay. So we would call it as a parent class because there are some other child classes which will inherit it. So basically that class defines aircraft body construction rules. So when you want to construct and create one flight, so you have to follow some rules, right? Like safety guidelines and how powerful that engine should be based upon the capacity. So everything which are defined in one class. So all child classes, that means different aircraft companies like Emirates, um, Air India, Air France, American Airlines. These are different aircraft companies. So we should make sure that all these aircraft companies should follow the rules defined by the parent class. Assume that parent class is some global which manages all the aircrafts across the world. Right? So now all these child classes has to use the methods defined in parent class on safety guidelines or how engine should be or anything like that. Okay. And build their own aircraft in your child class. But there is one problem. So there is a method called aircraft color. Okay. But this can be unique to every child class, right? So here we just ask that use the methods defined in parent class aircraft construction rules to create your own in aircraft in child class. So we inherit the properties from parent and use it. But problem is the color. So color can be unique to each and every child, isn't it? So what we can do here. So parent class guy is saying that I will not give any implementation to color because it's up to child class or different aircraft companies to create their own company logo on the aircraft. So one can have emblem or one can have some other logo which uniquely identifies that aircraft. So that's why the color method in parent class is not implemented. Instead, only method is defined. Okay, so this guy is defining the rules, right? So they have created a method saying color. Okay, but they don't have implementation inside it because every child have their own implementation. So that's why. So they have only method without any body. So they simply def return the method with signature and they left it. Okay. If there is any method in Java without having any body or implementation, that specific methods we call as an abstract method. So that means now in parent class, there is one abstract method called color. So this method do not have any implementation. So it's the duty of child class to inherit the parent class properties and methods with extends keyword. And then you can have your own implementation of that color. So this abstract classes looks similar to in interfaces. Okay. In interfaces also, we have methods which do not have implementation and it's the duty of classes to implement that interface and define your own methods. But in interfaces, Every method defined are abstract only. Okay. Observe the difference very clearly. I hope you went through my interfaces series videos and then watching this. So basically in interface, all the methods will be abstract. 
you won't have any body but whereas if you see this example in this parent class there is a method called safety guidelines which every aircraft have to follow implementation is there okay engine engine also most necessary right that implementation is also there only one method implementation is not there okay so if a class have implemented methods and non implemented methods then that class we called as a abstract class to keep it in simple terms in your class if there is any method without implementation then obviously that method is abstract and if class have one single abstract method then automatically that class also will become abstract class you see this point if there is any method in the class which is abstract then automatically class also abstract class right as i said unlike interfaces abstract class can have methods which have implementation as well so method which have body we say as concrete methods and non concrete methods are something which do not have body so these aircraft guys have left one method to implement to your child classes that made this aircraft parent classes abstract and now read the definition class which is declared with abstract obviously we call that class as abstract class you know why class will be declared as abstract because if there is any methods in that class which do not have body then automatically that class will become abstract class so as i said abstract class can have methods without body and also methods with the body so it can have combination of abstract and non abstract methods and if you have only abstract methods then that we would call as the interface right so that way we will achieve partial abstraction here whereas interfaces achieve 100% abstraction by hiding the implementation details okay so keeping this theoretical things in mind let's try to do one practical exercise and you will get very clear picture on what we are talking about so let me create one new class and i would call it as parent aircraft versus global to everyone all the airlines okay nice so in this first of all let's create one method called engine so this method should follow some rules and regulations so that all other aircrafts will inherit this class and use this method to create engine for their aircrafts okay so here i would just print system out println and say follow engine guidelines so this is the method and this have the implementation so if you have something in your braces that means this is non abstract method do remember and it's a non concrete method next so let's have another method and that method describes safety guidelines and obviously safety guidelines are common to every aircraft in the world so you cannot have customized safety guidelines because once you fly it's all in the air so you can say follow safety guidelines now i want to write a another method and ask my child classes to implement this because if they don't have color if every airline is a white color then it's a hard to detect which airline it is and could be any reasons if it is hijacked or if it's missed we should detect right by seeing it so they have given mandatory guideline that you should also implement a body color but unfortunately parent aircraft is not able to suggest right so that's the headache of the child classes so there is no body for this i don't have implementation i am hiding it right so you can simply close it with colon so that means this method do not have body and it's showing an error why let's try to understand you see that either add body that's what eclipse is saying if you don't want to add body that means java will treat it as a abstract then change this method to abstract let's change that's it you see that one keyword is added and that will tell that this method is abstract and there is error again let's see move your cursor it see that it's saying that make this class abstract because in our documentation we clearly learned that if there is any one method 
which is defined as abstract then automatically class also should be treated as abstract and here we did not define any abstraction for this class that's why we have this error so move your cursor and as eclipse suggested make type of this class abstract perfect you see that error is gone we just marked as abstract before class name and as well as a method name awesome now it's a duty of child aircrafts let me create one emirate i know i made a spelling mistake and it's uh, intentional because i don't want to take any specific <laughs> airline name okay right now this is a child emirates and this is the company which want to adhere the rules of what parent aircraft is defined so first of all to inherit properties and methods from the parent class you have to use inheritance concept and with a keyword called extends you should be able to access all the methods and variables defined in this parent aircraft oops good so there is an error here let's try to understand add unimplemented methods so it is forcing us to add one method which is not implemented because in parent aircraft we left one as a body color right so when you are extending your parent aircraft then it is mandatory for you to implement the methods which are left as abstract in your parent class if you skip that then your child class will not allow to execute it will throw compile error okay so they made it mandatory to implement it okay so that's what it is saying when you move your cursor it says add unimplemented methods and when you select this automatically body color method will be added here so you are forced to provide implementation when you inherit any abstract class all that method should be implemented so here you can write your own color red color on the body something like that good so you have successfully implemented so i would now create create object of your child class okay in public static void main so you can say child and this will okay so that c so basically in this class we have written only one method right so c dot body color is available for you and also engine is available for you though the object of this is belongs to child emirates class you are still able to access all the parent related methods as well because of inheritance nice so you can also implement directly safety guidelines as well everything perfect and the body color which you just implemented in your local class so you can call that as well awesome guys so this way you are successfully calling all these methods which are present in parent now can you create object for parent aircraft class so if you just want to call it by creating object you cannot do that because if any class if defined as an abstract then it will not allow you to instantiate that class so basically you cannot create object for the class which is marked as abstract you see that there is an error here so move your cursor and it says i cannot instantiate why because of this remove this abstract and then it will allow you to instantiate okay so do remember that you cannot instantiate abstract classes so run this code and this will print all the sys sysout print lines what we have done that follow engine guidelines follow safety guidelines and red color on the body and we have successfully achieved abstraction and we have implemented the abstract methods here okay and one more thing so you can have public or protected or default one but you cannot have private okay private is not allowed as access modifier for the methods defined in abstract class why so the goal of abstract is that someone has to use this right so this is the parent all your child classes have to use this methods so if you declare private like this though you inherit you cannot use the methods 
which are declared as a private in your parent class okay that's an access modifier topic if you have not gone through please watch it so if any method is declared as a private so that means though you inherit it you just cannot access it okay so then what is the point of abstracting because every abstract class have to be inherited so that's why they have avoided using private you can have public or protected so this way the child aircraft have built its own aircraft by following all the guidelines of its parent company and with its own implemented abstracted body color method so that's the concept so let's go back to the word document and we have successfully achieved partial abstraction from our abstract class with one method abstraction and if you scroll down there are quick differences between interfaces and abstraction which we will see now as i told you we cannot instantaneate object for abstract class so child classes are forced to implement abstract methods that also we have seen when you create this class automatically it's forcing us to have this method if not it's just throwing an error for us right so we have seen all these points in practical as well now if you compare head to head with interfaces and abstract classes as i said if you have not watched this section please watch interfaces also and then come back so that you will know why everyone is comparing with abstract classes with interfaces because there are a lot of similarities between them and with some differences which will be your interview question so in interface if you declare interface here if you assume this an interface all should be abstracted so implementations are not allowed everything should be like this only if it's interface that's the first point and access specifiers for interfaces should be must be public okay in abstract you have you can have protected as well anything apart from private is okay in abstract but in interfaces it should be strictly public okay and variables also should be strictly public if you have any variables here so right now we have only methods and to implement an interface basically all child classes uses a keyword called implements not extends extends is used for inheritance whereas implements is used for interfaces right and in the abstract classes you can have both abstract and concrete methods which we just discussed and except private you can have any access modifier and variables also except private you can have any other access modifier variables and to implement an abstract sorry to implement this is a mistake abstract we use extends keyword copy paste issue perfect so these are the head to head differences and that's pretty much about abstraction so if someone ask you that where do you use in the real life you can give this example like this okay so that's pretty much about this lecture so for more java topics please visit rahulshettyacademy.com so we have a free java course there where you can learn all the core java concepts with live examples and interview questions and it's absolute free all right thank you